Good morning, listeners, and welcome back to the Internet Marketing and Business Solutions Radio Show with Ron Kuhlman of both RCS Technology Solutions and RCS Online Solutions, where we help business owners and entrepreneurs achieve even greater success by attracting, converting, and retaining their ideal customers and clients consistently using various Internet marketing techniques and methods. The purpose of this show is we have two things that we do. Uh, we bring on subject matter experts, and we provide tips and methods that you can use to learn and get past any pitfalls and also help you, you know, speed up the process of getting to the success level that you desire or scaling beyond where you are. Usually we'll have two subject matter experts that will come on in the first two sections, and then time allowing in the third section, I'll give some tips and uh, techniques that you can use. This episode. This is our second episode today, and we are blessed to have with us for a second time, Troy Hoffman. Troy is the founder of Semporis, has mastered how to build thriving, high-growth companies. Throughout his career, Troy has launched and scaled multiple companies. However, it is, it is his rapid success with Semploris that has been continuously recognized in Inc. Magazine's top 500 list of the fastest-growing private companies in the entire country. As a, result, as a result-driven business coach, Troy is committed to helping entrepreneurs and business owners not only drive their business, but also scale them to achieve high levels of freedom. With his proven program, entrepreneurs and business owners learn how to unlock their greatest potential, accelerate growth of their businesses, and enjoy their success. Help me welcome Troy. Troy, how are you? Ron, I'm doing great. That was a mouthful. So, <laughs> how are you doing today, man? <laughs> excellent, excellent. Now, uh, I know I mean, it's only 8 a.m. because you're calling in from California, well, right? Actually, I'm in Austin, Texas today. And if you've ever been out to Austin in a while, the business community out here is, like, insane. Like, we had an amazing dinner last night with a bunch of uh, – one girl that runs, the, like, this female CEO entrepreneur group out here. She's, like, 100 women in it. She started a little a few years ago. She was at dinner. And another guy that's, like, running, um, like, kind of like this, like, a little startup community thing out of, uh, I guess, University of Texas. He's actually one of my best friend's brother's. Uh, one of the guys doing kind of really consulting on 1041 um, areas of trust for companies. So it was a really cool dinner we had last night. It was just a bunch of random friends here. It was wakeboarding in front of Michael Dell's house, and I had to take a bunch of pictures there to see one of the gurus of entrepreneurship himself, his house, which was amazing. So it's been a great trip here, Ron. Excellent. And I have definitely heard a lot of great things about uh, Austin, Texas. They also host that uh, South by Southwest Festival every year, right? Oh, yeah. It's amazing. Yep. yep. And, uh, yeah, and I was at, that wasn't Christy White down there, was it, that was the leader of that group? No, no. It's a girl by the name of Olga Pachenko. She's okay. kind of started. She's part of, like, she was part of EO Entrepreneurs Organization at one time. And so... Yeah, it's kind of interesting, like the whole entrepreneur world. I love it. Like staying connected with as many people as possible. You never know what you're going to learn or how you're going to be able to help each other. And it's just always fascinating. And the encouragement factor of constantly connecting with other people, doing really cool things, and, you know, just inspires you consistently. Troy, I think right off the bat, man, you've, you've hit a great point. One of the problems that I found as being an entrepreneur is isolation. Oftentimes, even though I have seven people that work for me and 19 subcontractors, but so I have all this, but I'm usually sitting behind a computer or I'm driving to and from an event, so there's an awful lot of alone time. So when we get to these events and you get to have those dinners with like-minded people, I mean, it is literally, I mean, I can hear the joy and excitement in your voice, and I know it. I feel it. You know, I go to events to connect with people and be around like-minded people because at the end of the day, you know, not everybody, you know, and not everybody's like us, nor are they supposed to be, and it's not, you know, some are good, some are better. It's everybody has different likes and wants in life. But, um I love it. So, I mean, that's a great way for people to connect and also scale because when you're meeting people like that, you're, you're building your relationships, you're building your reaches, and you're also building your connections. Am I correct? 
hundred percent. Like in like Ron, this is one thing I wish I would have learned a lot younger is understanding about getting around people. You develop your mindsets and skill sets, but the most powerful one is like these mindsets. Like how do these other people live? How do they think? How do they process information? And and you do get alone. If you're the point person, you can't only share with the people around you either, like all the crap you're going through or the pressure or the stress or whatever it is. That's why these networking groups are fantastic or getting involved in like forums, like entrepreneurs organization is great because, you know, you get, you get to get in a room once a month and say, okay, here's all the crap I'm dealing with in business, you know, and sharing it or having people you can call and trust that aren't going to judge you because they've been through the same situation. They're not going to criticize you. You don't feel like, they're looking at you like you're bad or an idiot or stupid because they've gone through it too and they get it. Like when you're around people that have gone through it and get it and gone through the same experience, like they, they're more encouraging. They're, they're kind of like that light of hope and they say, oh, well, and here in my experience, like when I went through something like this, you're getting these experience shares. But when you're hanging out and going to these events too in general, it's that mindset. Like what do these people think? Why are they energized? Like how do I get re-energized? And you just have this constant energy you're feeding each off of each other because there's the excitement that builds when you start casting vision and seeing the future and getting excited about where you're at but also where you're going in life so it's pretty amazing yeah and it can not only can it get uh lonely and i agree with you 100 percent or isolating whatever the correct word is but uh also um it, you, people can suffer from burnout so, uh, and I, I know your history, and I know you're going to share that a little bit, but now, and, and that's part of what you help people avoid, and that's giving the freedom in some of your processes, because when you're by yourself and you're doing it, there can be, you know, 15, 18, 16, 20-hour days consistently, and um, can you tell us a little bit about uh, some of that, how you overcame that, and then how you help people with that? So, Ron, yeah, I mean, it's pretty basic, like, I mean, we did two back-to-back companies in, like, four years, under four years. That went from, like, zero to, like, five million, roughly, in that range. One was over, one was a little bit under. And, and it was just chaos. And you're just working 18 hours a day. People are pissed off. You're dealing with issues constantly, you upset customers. You're just working. And you forget about to take care of yourself. You forget about, like, all these things. And especially when you're younger, you feel you're invincible. So I really hit, like, started hitting the wall 35, 36. I'm like 42 now, and I really, and, and this happens to all entrepreneurs. Like, if anyone's listening to this today, like, we all know this. Like, we either hit burnout, we're like, screw this, or we're just bored, we're just tired of it, and we're like, ah, whatever, I'll just walk away for a while, or I'll, I'll do something else, or I'll get into something that's more exciting, right? For me, it was burnout, and then I actually went to the other far end of the spectrum, which is boredom years later. And so the first thing is burnout, Right. It's like where, and, and this is what we're actually trying to help people with, and entrepreneurs, like knowing there's a few basic things that we have to do every single day that really can help charge us. So that every day we wake up, we put ourselves in power. Like how do we wake up or charge? We're excited about our life. We're excited about where to go. And we read different things and different books, and we get different frameworks. But I'm just casting this vision of like maybe there's a simple framework that you can choose what you want to insert in there in your body, in your being, in your balance, and in your business every day. What are you going to do for a workout? Simple. What are you going to do for a veggie drink or something healthy every day? What are you going to do for meditation? And what are you going to do for journaling every day? And make sure you track it and make sure that you actually apply this thing every day, seven days a week. So every day you're waking up and you're saying, I'm ready to crush it today. I'm really clear on what I want to do. I'm clear on where I want to go. I'm in power. I've released all the negativity. I've done this thing called the stack, maybe the Byron Katie stuff releasing all the negative emotion, negative feelings, anything that may be holding you back or any BS stories. So every day we're constantly energizing and moving ourselves forward. We're learning, we're growing, you know, and, and we're teaching other people. And that's just, like this whole process is part of it, you know, trying to really help entrepreneurs not burn out, help entrepreneurs not get bored where they burn down their businesses. We'll build and burn, we'll build and burn, we'll build and burn because of these crappy habits we get into. Because we don't have a lot of people sometimes around us telling us, sharing us, like, really, how do you live this life? How do you manage this entrepreneur stress? How do you build companies and grow companies and still have a family and still have a girlfriend, still have a boyfriend, still have a husband, still have a wife, still have kids, still have a great body, so just trying to keep in shape and have the energy levels up, up, and up without crashing? And there are some simple ways of doing that, and that's where we kind of help other entrepreneurs work with. And, you know, applying the basics to running a company, like, how do you do it? So. 
Keep going, Ron. I love it, man. That's good stuff. And uh, so tell us a little bit more about uh, what you're involved with and, and what's going on. Um, so right now, like, I think because of the pain of my past, like hitting boredom, hitting burnout, like, you know, I've been really trying to, like, just do a lot of, of like, speaking at a lot of friends' places, like a lot of friends that have companies, a lot of friends that have real estate companies, a lot of friends that have, like, like venues or events going on, just doing a lot more speaking and then trying to find ways to really impact different people's life by sharing this framework, you know. Kind of went through this uh, coaching program to learn how to get better at coaching. Cause I, I mean, I literally run, I spend literally $100,000 a year easily on myself getting coaching, right? Making sure that people from all angles looking at my life, from, the, from finance to my body to my mindset to every different aspect of my life to make sure that I'm, I'm moving it forward in all areas. And I was like, you know, there's got to be a way to start sharing this stuff more because not a lot of people are even exposed to some of these concepts. Like, you just don't know what you just don't know. And a lot of us go through our business life starting these businesses and starting these companies and moving forward in our lives not knowing what we don't even know. So how do we share more and have a different message that may impact others so that they understand that there are tools out there? Like, I was such an idiot when it comes to companies. I didn't even know how powerful a daily huddle was was in business. A simple five- to ten-minute meeting every single morning, like, to run your company, and you do it with your core team, or each department does it, however you want to structure it. But something as simple as that and getting that applied, getting people to connect every morning and say, okay, what did I do yesterday? What am I going to do today? And what needs to happen tomorrow? And you're just kind of teaching little things constantly to help impact entrepreneurs' lives, basically, Ron. So that's kind of really what I've been up to the most lately. Yeah, I've been seeing that you've been doing a lot more speaking. And uh, you had a book come out recently, too, didn't you? Yeah, we had it's called Purpose, Power, and Passion. Or Purpose, Power, pa- pa- oh, too many P's right now, Ron. <laughs> We hit twenty. We hit number one in twenty-two categories on Amazon. It's with a great group of people. Kyle Wilson, if you guys, if you know of Kyle, there's a guy named Jim Rohn, who's like one of the all-time like top motivational speakers this country's ever seen. Jim was built up by Kyle. Kyle was like the back-end guy that was like the promoter. So he's kind of doing that now. Like he worked with Mark Victor Hansen. He worked with Brian Tracy. He worked with Darren Hardy. So Kyle's now working with, like, the next generation of, like, people that are kind of coming up to kind of help impact people's lives. And it was a great book with a bunch of great authors, a bunch of, you know, many little chapters, everyone's sharing their stories and personal stories because I don't think it's more information people need anymore. It's more like what's the story this person went through and what was the information they applied to their lives. And you start seeing, like, how these other people have applied things to their life, and, and what's the truth behind the truth, you know what I mean? So it was a great book, you know, super fun to be involved in it, and it's just moving forward. Yeah, that's great, and that's a great way, too, of also positioning yourself and gaining extra exposure is to be an author of a book, or even if you're in a book with a bunch of other people, it, it attracts uh, because other people may not be aware of you, but they'll be aware of someone else in the book, and they'll come in, and then they'll become aware of you, and then uh, hopefully you'll be able to serve them and, and help them. Uh, let's pretend that we have three different levels of people listening. One is a group of people who are just getting ready to start as entrepreneurs. The second group is people who have been in business for about 18 months to two years, and they're just getting over the the hump. They're actually starting to make more money than they spend. And then we have people who have been in business for roughly five years. What would be, uh, and, and if possible, one of your tips could apply to all five, all three groups. But if you could give us one to maybe three tips, time allowing, uh, on, at each level, uh, how these people could, uh, you know, a- achieve even greater success and avoid some pitfalls. So, definitely, like, so group one, if you're starting a company today, one of the greatest things I've ever heard, actually, and I didn't think about it for years later, a friend of mine, Scott Duffy, we are in the Orange County EO chapter. He's part of Entrepreneur Magazine, and he's launching another book right now, and he speaks all over the country. I think he's one of the top 10 or 50 speakers in the nation ranked right now in different charts. But Scott, one time he said, like, before you start a company, he's like, make sure you're in great health 
and you and your partner are on the same page about what is required to start that business. And I think that right there is one of the most major things of like starting a business is the amount of energy, the amount of time, the amount of help required and energy to really get something off the ground. Like make sure you're working out, make sure you're eating clean, make sure you're, you've got off all food allergies. So like, you know where you're at, your body's out in all areas. Like you're super, your body's healthy. It's not going to break down because you will need massive energy more than anything you've else ever done before, especially launching a company. You've got to have so much energy to get it off the ground. And that relationship partner that's with you is going to pay a price unless they're part of it. So they're going to pay a price either way, either you being gone or, or they're going to have to be involved with that business at some point, and they're going to have to work their ass off too. And so that's stage one. Stage two, you're 18 months in. This is where you've got off the ground. You've expended a ton of energy. You've expended all the money. Like you're finally starting to actually come to work for you. You're starting to get revenue in the door finally. So this is where you really want to start applying the core for to make sure you keep yourself healthy, to make sure you're keeping your mindset clean. So this is where you're so engrossed in it, you start forgetting about the outside world at that point. You start forgetting, like, you're so involved with this company, you forget about your family and friends. And I was just speaking somewhere else, and somebody's like, hey, you know what? I haven't even reached out to my own sister or brother in, like, six or eight months, this guy said, at a place I spoke at for an accelerator group um, in Orange County uh, a couple days ago. And one of the guys brought that up, and I was like, yeah, because you're so engrossed with your business. You forget about your friends from high school. You forget about your friends from college or friends you made throughout a lifetime, and you slowly start losing touch. So in that group, is like when it, everything's the busiest and, the, and you're 18 months in, and it's chaos, and, you're, and the business keeps coming and coming and coming, that's when you really want to apply that core four in body, being, balance, and business every day. When you're five years in, you've got money. Like, the things are working. Now you're starting to hit boredom because, like, Damn, I just worked my ass off. I built all this stuff up. Now I'm hitting boredom. Now you got to find a way to re-engage in your company. And that's where, like, really getting involved in different, like, true entrepreneur groups that are really going to teach you something. Like, I love EO, Entrepreneurs Organization, because they're teaching fundamentals of how to scale. And there's books out there like Mastering the Rockefeller Habits and Where Do You Take Your Company? And so you're constantly creating a new vision, constantly capturing a new vision and a new goal for yourself so you're going after this target and you're energized by it. And you have to figure out what is going to energize you at this stage, what level of significance we're going to go through. Because we go from this place of complete slavery, like we're enslaved by these companies, we're enslaved by our lives, we have no money. We finally get out of slavery and we go into this place of scarcity business where we kind of have money, we're kind of getting by, but we're barely getting by, we're, barely, we're covering payroll, Every, every, every paycheck, and that's about it. Like, then we move into this place of security. We have plenty of business coming in. We kind of have predicted out when we're going to make payroll. But it's in the point of that security that the boredom occurs. And then we switch into the fourth category of significance. And when we move into this category of significance, that's that inner charge where you're being, you're being driven towards something instead of trying to be pushed away from the fear. You're not, you're not walking away from fear. You're not walking away from failure. You're walking toward more of a massive success that's driving you long-term where you're going to leave an impact. And I think around year five is when you start playing with that and start experiencing that and seeing what type of legacy you will leave behind you when it's all over. So, Ron, back to you, sir. I love it, man. And I know, uh, you know, I follow you on Facebook. We've been friends for a while. And I actually met you at one of those type of dinners you were talking about earlier in uh, Freeport, I think it was, or Cal- uh, some part of California, right? Um, yes, we're in Newport it, it, Beach at the, at the Balboa Bay Club is when I met you. Yeah. Yep, in Newport Beach. So uh, that was excellent. And and so I've been following you, and and I've been seeing the things you're doing. So uh, can you give everybody um, your contact info? Yeah, you definitely can find me on Facebook, uh, Troy Hoffman uh, on Facebook, or Troy I. Hoffman. Uh, Instagram is at Hoffman Troy. My cell phone number is 850-322-8261. That's 850-322-8261. Go ahead and text or call if I can help you in any way. So thank you, Ron. Thanks. And, uh, you know, um, we still got like three minutes left. Is there anything else you'd like to impart to the listeners? 
Well, I like the story of our relationship. Like, like that's why you go to these things. You hang out with these things. Like, you become buddies. You become real friends. You actually know the authenticity of the individual because you're spending time with the individual. You're seeing the individual. You're traveling. You're spending time with that individual. You're seeing how they treat the waiter. You're seeing how they treat their friends. You're seeing how they treat the, the people in their business here. And you have years of this knowledge, years of this information. So when you need something, like, and, and, and you always will at some point, you know who to call and when to call. Or you just are constantly getting inspired and encouraged. That's where these long-term relationships pay off. Like, you really, they're, they're just dynamic, and it just helps feed your life overall. And that's why investing time in going to these events and going to different things like that, investing time in coaching and investing time in connecting with, like, super high-end people that are crushing it, it just pays dividends down the road. So, like, I'm grateful for our relationship, Ron. Like, and I've hung out with you in Orlando and Newport, like, at different conferences. You're friends with my friends who I've actually lived at my house, like, like stayed and crashed in the Newport house. Like, you're friends with a bunch of them through the different uh, speaking places you've done. So, I mean, there's real, there's real connection here, which I love. So go for yep, it, Ron. And I, yep, and I love it, too. And, and I think that really goes back to the, to the big thing. Um, you, you know, when people go to events, it's not about selling. You don't go to events to sell. I mean, if you, and you never sell, you serve, right? But you go to these events, and, and you, you have the opportunity, and you always go to the after parties, always go VIP, because the people who go VIP, you know, the, the more you invest in yourself and other people invest in themselves, too, those are the people you want to be around the most. But it's all about building relationships. And your business, your personal life will scale, but also... Also your business life too so uh you know right from the very beginning and, and right towards the end it was all about uh focusing on building real authentic relationships over time not about meeting somebody and trying to have them sign a contract and sell them something yes uh, all right i hear the music coming thank you, in, so thank you troy you've been listening to troy hoffman on the Internet Marketing and Business Solutions radio show with Ron Cooming of RCS Technology Solutions, where we help business owners and entrepreneurs attract, convert, and retain their ideal customers and clients to achieve even greater success. Have a great week, everyone.